That is sweet. I, this tweet, it was like, if I say I'm gonna call you back, just go and enjoy the rest of your day and be safe. Because I'm not gonna call you back. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> How many I thought I was a cigarette? Candy, bro. Wait, really? <laughs> what is this? Hi, Sydney. I have not forgotten about your grades and they will be updated soon. I have not touched the grades due to communication about changes coming out. The new grade expectations have been set as of Monday and the geometry team of teachers met today. Now, I will be upgrading grades based on this information. Thanks for reaching out. <laughs> Don't put that in. <laughs> So I just made it back home. Traffic was horrible. Look at this accident. So I think everything in life happens for a reason. And maybe I was delayed and debated whether or not to go because it was meant for me to miss that accident. So I think everything happens for a reason. Hey girls. What are you doing? Taking a quiz. Okay, okay, Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. Area of TVU equals the measure of TU. This quiz will be submitted in 30 minutes. Come on. But I thought you had until 3 o'clock, Sydney. Yeah, but I need to take it again if this doesn't go well. And I only have an hour to take it. Oh. Um, if you add up the math, that's not enough time. So this was in my goodie bag from school. This is beautiful. Yeah, that part kind of got but this is awesome and the company name is on the back oh, I do. look if anybody look. is local and want to order a section of TBU. so we have that at this part <laughs> lollipops so would I do area of sector P yeah sure but you're trying to find the area of the shaded region so after you find that, you have to subtract it from the area of the whole circle. But I'm really having a hard time understanding your notes right now, so just give me a second. Area of small sector. I guess I'll leave them doing. Okay, look, look, look. I'm going to leave them doing that. I'm 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 gonna look at my friend's thing. Cindy, but look, look. Do you know it? So you're gonna do the measure, what is that, 45? They're so cute. I like to see them working and stuff. I'm in my bedroom now. I'm getting ready. Um, they have a contest or not really a contest. My lead, I don't know what you call her, the lead teacher or whatever. She not No, she's not a teacher. She, I don't know. She's ahead of the English department. <laughs> and um, she was like, there's a contest for unique workspaces during this, you know, social distancing and, you know, distance learning. I think you should send a picture of your workspace. <laughs> so I was like, it's just a spot in the garage. She was like, oh, it's cute. She, she's bubbly like that. So I'm just going to go get me a plant to finish off my little workspace. And I'm probably going to spray again one more time in my garage and spray around the house again. And um, because I would like to really continue to work. Oh, it's just, it's, it's so peaceful, guys. It's, ah, it's just wonderful. I've never sat outside like that before. And someone mentioned why don't I sit on my patio. The patio is small and it's blocked off. It's like I'm sitting in the closet. That's how my patio is. Like if I plan a dinner and I have my little lights. Look, I, 
I have to clean up out there. I need a hose to hose everything down and get some lights and really, really spray out there. Um, I just want to get some lights and maybe a few things to hang out there. There isn't much I could do. It's such a small space. I already have a nice table and chairs out there and that's all it fits. Literally. I can't even fit a beautiful plant out there uh, unless I sit it on a table. So... So it's, I don't see anything. I'm not looking at anything. So why do I want to sit in a box when I can sit in the garage and see people walking by, see cars? You know, I just feel more in the, in the, in the, in the open, not closed off and sheltered. Sometimes I do like that feeling, <laughs> but not on my patio for some reason. It's, it's just too tiny. It's too tiny. But if I'm having like a cute little dinner out there or some friends over or something, it's cute for that, you know, but not to be sitting out there by myself. It's, mm, I don't care for it that much. So, um, and then in, this, in Texas, it gets so hot sitting outside at certain times of the day mm -mm. no you melt you melt you melt so it's like it's, it's starting to get warm so you got to get out there really really early or you get out there when the sun sets <laughs> so i'm going to get me a little plant i'm going to do that right now although i just got back from school but i'm going to get me a little plant so i can enter this contest so i have like a little cute backdrop and um get my grades done and email parents about all these zeros that are in grade book for all the kids who forgot. They just forgot that there was an assignment due. That's what we're gonna say. We're gonna stick with the I forgot. You know, because they're so busy, you know, with the social distancing that they do forget to do the assigned work. And kids now know that if it's not for a grade, they will not be doing a work. But at this point, you should still, I feel as though they should still do the work because it's preparing them for the next grade level. You know, so now at this point, they know that there's no state testing, but we still need to get you ready for that next grade. And they don't see it like that. So there's a lot of zeros in a grade book. There's nothing I can do about that besides, you know, it is what it is. And I, I can't keep stressing myself out. I may do um, meet with the kids one more time throughout the week. Maybe for 30 minutes. My tutorials are an hour. So I may just, just to have like an office hour if someone has questions or something like that. I don't know. I, I just, I, I kind of miss the kids as well. And I'm really looking forward to the new school year with new ideas that I have, new things I want to try, things I want to learn throughout the summer. And that's why there's always continuous learning for teachers because kids are learning the way they learn it is different than you know back in the day. How they process things are different. Their attention spans are different. So People are still trying to come up with ways to get the kids to read. Getting them to read now is really tough, especially with social media and that instant gratification. It's hard for a kid to pick up a book now. It's like that love of reading is slowly dissipating. And it's really sad. It's sad. Me, I feel as though I don't have as much time to read but I do listen to my audio books I'm you know I just started another book my books may not be self-help books or you know the latest novel but they're books that I enjoy and sometimes I might hear a word that's spoken I'm like oh what's that word I'm gonna look that word up so I love words and how you put them together and use them as art as well so I, I still want to instill that in the kids who lives I touch words can be art but I really want to emphasize that at the beginning of the year so it's little things that you have to implement at the very beginning of the year to try to do that mid-year in year you could forget about it so I really want my stuff to be tight for the new school year and that's how I was at my other school when I first started teaching it was a whole learning it was a learning learning but that second year honey I should have won teacher of the universe <laughs> So it was good. You know, that's when I introduced my characters. I would do performances in the class and different fun lessons. It was a great year, but it took time for me to learn that first year. And then I processed over the summer 
And honey, that next year, I, I brought the business, honey. <laughs> so, okay, let me go get my plant so I can send in this picture. The picture is due tomorrow. So I kind of go want to get the plant now and finalize some grades and send that email to parents before the grading cycle ends for their progress reports. So I kind of want to get that done and I don't want to wait to the last minute. Therefore, you know, it's too late for them to submit work. So I'm trying to be a little proactive instead of reactive. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's see what I find.